want to switch gears a little bit. Could you tell us about your partnership with the Global Autism Project? What has that been like for both of you to be partners? Um, I think I can start on that one. Um, I met Molly in, Molly and I started talking in 2010. So this is when Kaizora at that time was me, basically. Um, <laughs> and the Global Autism Project was Molly on her own. So we would end up having Skype sessions and she would train me on some new strategies online. Like I mentioned at that time, I didn't have all the qualifications I needed. I was looking for help and trying to make sure I'm on the right path. So she provided a lot of that support, but she also provided a lot of encouragement and reassurance that what I'm doing was good, was right. I had some self-doubt. When you're in a country where nobody knows what ABA is, they barely know what autism is, and you're trying to do this thing, it, it, it gets lonely. And sometimes you're like, I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. Um, and she was always there to be like, wow, you're doing fantastic. And then she, uh, when Skill Course started sending in all those teams, it's been a journey where I think we have grown together. Um, we've grown a lot together. and. Both of us have benefited a lot from this relationship. We have, Kaizora has grown in terms of understanding business management, the therapies, ABA supervision, my supervision. It's, it's been quite something. Mm -hmm. And Brooke, I know you just came on last year, but you attended Global Summit last August yeah. in Bali. What was that like for you? Um, I think it was amazing. It was really amazing to meet all these other partners and listen to them and um, hear that the challenges we are also facing are the same challenges that they're actually facing. Um, it makes you feel like you're not alone, regardless of well, whether you're in, you know, um, in your country and you feel maybe you're the only one, but then you realize it's actually something that is global. Um, so, and, um, I think we've learned a lot and I'm um, usually very, we were really waiting for the skill code to go to Tanzania. I think that is what I was really, really hoping for. Um, because I see what the staff learn, you know, we, we have, we, we really invest a lot in our staff trainings and having the skill co come and train our staff and learn new things. And it really makes us feel, you know, um, happy. And um, we, 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 we can see that they're actually benefiting a lot in that sense. Um, I think I met Skill Core definitely or Global Autism Project um, when I started coming for consultations in Kaizora. I would come and I would see these people just looking at me when we are running sessions and I would not understand until I had to get it from Puja. Like, yeah, they, they will come three times a year. And that's how I try to understand. And uh, um, it's been amazing. It's been amazing. Um, their trainings um, and all that, it's been quite helpful. Good. I think um, one of the other things that's really great is um, whenever Skill Corps comes, it also keeps us in check because we are also being evaluated. We're being assessed at the center of excellence and it helps us recognize any gaps that we have and how we're moving on to filling in those gaps. And I feel good about it because when we're evaluated and we go through everything, we, we have an understanding of what we need to, where we need to be, but also we get that insurance that we're doing good. We're doing a good job. We're on the right track. Um, it's nice to have somebody come and keep us on our toes. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's definitely a two-way exchange. You know, the skilled core teams learn so much from the partners whenever we go on the trips. We learn even clinical strategies that we weren't doing before. And we also learn the value of teamwork, especially at Kaizora, when we see how well you guys work together. You've been watching Autism Knows No Borders. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Also, we'd love to hear from you, so let us know what you think in the comments section. Click here to watch this interview in its entirety. You can also find us on your favorite podcast app.
Tune in each week for engaging conversations of how people across the globe are inspiring change and building community. Thanks for watching. Take care.